So some workers at Impala Platinum uh, have been called to return to work today as the mining house wants to start some of its operations from Friday. Now, Implat says it's not going back to business as usual, but wants to do everything it can to ensure its business remains financially viable. Uh, the mine says it's received permission to operate from the Department of Mineral Resources. Our reporter Zintekanyan is in Rustenburg. She's keeping a close eye on the story. I take you there now live. Uh, so, Zinke, of course, mounting concern about how if the workers were to return back to their uh, mining shafts, whether they'd be able to adhere to any of the lockdown regulations as stipulated by the president. Well, it doesn't look like that, Ayanda. At this point, we've managed to make our way to the 14 shaft, um, Impala Platinum 14 shaft, which is where we are now. Uh, when we entered the shaft itself, there are police officers that are barring everyone from going into the shaft at this point. So it seems as though the police have really secured all routes coming into most of the shops of Impala uh, to ensure that nobody is going to be reporting to work this morning. But when I came here, there are a few gentlemen that I found uh, standing around this particular area. They are Impala Platinum employees. I just want to bring them in, Ayanda. Sir, thank you much. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, how, why did you come here today? No, I came here today so that um, um, they, 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 they've, I've received the message uh, today um, so that we, uh, as we as uh, employees mm -hmm. from Impala, we must come to work and report. Okay. So the problem is that we, we, we saw policemen, mm -hmm. uh, they blocked us, mm -hmm. so we cannot go through. So I don't know what's going on from there. Yeah. What is your employer saying at this point? Because you're saying you received an SMS to report for work today, but when you come to work, you are being blocked by the SAPS. So what's the way forward? What is your, your employer saying? No, the, 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 the employer just said to us, we must come. So the police blocked us. So there's a little bit of uh, for com confusion. So from now on, I'm just, we're just going to go home and... We're just going to wait for, 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 the, for, for the employer to tell us what, what is, what, okay. yes, yeah, okay. Thank you so much. That's uh, just one of the employees saying that he's confused because he was told by the employer via SMS to report for work, but he's, he's being blocked by the SAPS. Let me just bring an, another gentleman. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us. Obviously, you've also received an SMS um, from your employer to report for work. Are you not concerned about your safety? This is happening during lockdown with the COVID-19 virus being so infectious. Are you not concerned about your safety? at this point, even though your employer has called you to come to work? Yes, ma'am, we are confused. The problem is uh, if it happens to a point whereby the company says they're not paying us anymore, it's going to be a frustration. The police are not going to give you work or, or whatsoever, you know. Mm -hmm. And the confusion part is uh, there are SMSs from the government that says we're not supposed to go to work and there's the same SMS that says based on the lockdown that has been extended, mm -hmm. Uh, there's a permit that has been granted for the Impala to come and operate. So it's frustrating because you don't know if you stay home, you're going to get fired from work. Or if you go to work, if you get arrested, the company won't bail you out of jail. So it's, it's, it's actually confusing in a way, you know. So we, we don't have any choice but then to comply with whatever that we get. If you get, if you get arrested or if you come across police, you will uh, show whatever that has been sent to you that this is me being home. I've been home and I've been sent these messages to go to work and stuff, you see. So... There's nothing much that we can do okay. in this point. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, uh, he's just reiterating the fact that as employees, when their employer tells them to come to work, they have no choice but to come because obviously this is their bread and butter. But at the same time, there's confusion because now the SAPS are enforcing the, the lockdown regulations and making sure that nobody reports for work during the lockdown. Let me just bring in one more gentleman here, Ayanda. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us. You also received an SAPS to come to work. Is this whole situation not frustrating for you? Hey, I tell you, Omar, I swear. I read the SMS from our employers. Mm -hmm. They said we must report on duty today. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunately, I have become 17. I have been able to get a little bit. I have been able to get a little bit. So, I have been able to get a little bit. But there are some employers, uh, employees who mm are -hmm. in the hospital. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, we are not going to be able to get out of here. Because they said that the number is going to be able to get out of here. The number is going to be able to get out of here. 
but work up for the social distance. But how does that make you feel? You were told to come to work and now you can't come, you can't go into your shaft. You understand some people are already in there. How does this make you feel? I feel because of it's a lockdown. They said we must stay home. Mm-hmm. So let's comply. Mm-hmm. So I think it's good for us. Yes. Thank you so much. Obviously, frustrations are running high amongst some employees, but uh, I think the confusion here is between who to listen to really. Is it your employer or is it the president? Right, and you know, Zinche, I'm wondering that in the midst of all this confusion, whether any of the key players have said anything at all this morning. I mean, I'm talking about mining bosses themselves, the Department of Mineral Resources, and the authorities clamping down on efforts from the employees to actually get to work. I mean, is there any kind of clarity from those sectors at this point in time? Well, that's where more of the confusion and comes in because from the SMS that we saw from the workers that uh, received the SMS, the SMS is very clear from the CEO of the Rustenburg um, Operations, Mark Monroe, saying that they should every single employee should report for work this morning, saying that they have received a permit uh, to uh, begin operations. Um, but when we spoke to Impala Platinum Communications this morning, uh, we were told that those SMSs did not go to everybody. It went to specific people who are part of essential services. Those are the people that have to um, use or, or switch on such a certain machinery in these mines. And we were told that it's not every single employee. But that's where the confusion comes in, Ayanda, because scores of people have reported to different shops this morning because of that SMS, only to find that when they come here, they are blocked by the police. And the very same Impala is saying, no, they did not call everybody else. They called specific people in specific departments. Right. So very quickly then, as the situation stands, have any of the employees been able to actually make it to the mine itself and begin operations as intended by the mining bosses? We haven't seen anybody that has um, entered the mine at this point, Ayanda. We spoke to the police officers that are blocking the entrance to this particular shaft, 14 shaft, and they said nobody has been allowed to go in. They have been here from the wee hours of the morning to ensure that nobody enters this particular shaft. So as it stands, we don't know if there are any people inside the shaft. We don't know if operations are indeed uh, beginning in this particular shaft, but we will be getting those answers and we will be keeping our viewers updated on this developing story. Absolutely. A cloud of confusion amid mounting concerns uh, for health considerations. Zindle Kanyane is our reporter live to us from Rustenburg.